GG! Wee, we've got a GG! We've got Mr. ML, we've got another random exciting episode inbound today. Me and Mrs. Georgie, Mrs. ML, we are off to Scotland! A really cheap drift car came up that we actually know quite well. It's a Nissan Silvia S14. It's quite a unanimous car as well. Sean actually imported this car. Sean at DSI imported this car about, I think about a year and a half ago, and it went for pretty big money. Um, since then, it's been around a few owners. It's actually ended up in Glasgow in Scotland. Um, it needs a few sort of bits doing to it, so I've got it for a super, super, super sick price. I'm gonna grab some diesel. We're gonna grab a coffee, and we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> This is the S14 in question. It's got a massive, massive big wing on it, which will be the first thing it's been taken off. But yeah, it's a pretty big spec. Like I said before, originally imported by Sean at Drift Street Imports. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty mad looking. We are en route now. We're going a little bit of a different way this morning because I think the M25 has a bit of traffic. Um, yeah, we're no doubt going to stop on the way to grab a bit of food, stop at the services. Um, so we'll see you guys on the road in a sec. Yeah, what an absolute mission. George and I have literally been, how long do we sit there? For about 45 minutes? Yeah. yeah, we've been sitting in traffic for 45 minutes because a coach had managed to go into the back of a lorry. But yeah, no one died, no fatality, so happy days. So yeah, we're back on the motorway now. We've got about, we're about an hour behind, or 45 yeah. minutes behind. Um, but we shall be making good haste. Yeah, we're in traffic. Um, so yeah, if the highways agency could <laughs> stop all the roadworks on the way to Scotland, that'd be fantastic. Bob, can you just check the um, sat nav? Because I don't want to hold my phone while I'm driving, just in case dolphins might cry. What's it saying we got left? Two hours and 55 minutes. Ooh, so yeah, a bit of a journey left to go. We thought while we are sitting in traffic, we just go through the spec of the car. My kind associate here, Mrs. Georgina London. Is gonna <laughs> is gonna show us. It's got an S15 lump in it for a start. Yes. And I think the shell's done what eighty thousand miles or something. Yeah, the shell's done eighty-two thousand miles, but the SR20 was at thirty-seven. That changed to thirty-seven. It's also got a truss turbo. It's got an aftermarket tubular manifold. It's got HKS cams. It's got a thicker head gasket. Um, I think it's got a trust oil cooler. Yeah. Kazama oil catch can. Mm -hmm. I think it's got Nismo fuel pump as well. Which is good. And also Nismo injectors, yep. which we like. And it's also got an ORC or an AUK 309 or a 409 clutch. And Don't about ask me about numbers. <laughs> <laughs> they're about a grand though. They're pretty expensive. So yeah, engine spec is pretty decent. I'm not sure on the gearbox. I would assume it's a, a stock, um, stock S14 five-speed, yeah. I would assume. So what is it with the 15? Are they six-speed? 15 15's got six-speed, oh, yeah. Okay. But it's actually the six-speed is weaker because the six speed is all the gears are basically crammed into a five speed casing. So they're inherently weaker than the five speeds. I did unless, not know that. Unless you've got a Nismo six speed like me, which is a bit stronger. If you're fancy. If you're a fancy <laughs> pants like me, yeah. And the bodywork on this car is quite mad. The paint is pretty rough, isn't it? It's kind of like, it's like matte. Yeah, matte. Bad matte. <laughs> Rattle mat? Yeah, like rattle, <laughs> rattle mat can, if that's the thing. Um, yeah, the paint isn't great. It's like a sort of really sort of chalk, almost like a sort of chalkboard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm not sure on the body kit, but it's got wider front wings, it's got wider rear over fenders, it's got a different front bumper. Yeah. I think the rear bumper's stock, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the rear bumper's stock. The interior's also pretty cool as well. It's got a Costco Escape Dash roll cage, so like my S15. I think it's also got a bride bucket seat. Yeah, it's got a bride bucket Bright red one. Seat, yeah. And various, I think it's got defy gauges or a few gauges yeah. and stuff. It's also got some pretty nice coilovers. I'm not sure if the coilovers are knackered or if they're warm. IKEA Formula tie rods mm -hmm. and then loads of Cusco arms like camber and stuff. So. And, yeah, quite a few Cusco arms underneath it. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, the spec is pretty mad. Like I said before, it does need a bit of TLC and a little bit of work to kind of uh, sort of restore it to its former glory. But yeah, hopefully we can uh, get her back and sort of do a bit of a do a bit of a rescue. Made it! Woo woo! See, so yeah, I 
after we did it in about six hours, definitely at the national speed limit. Of course. <laughs> we found it. Yeah. Ultimate. Can't miss that thing, can you? <laughs> Better not break down on me, you little bugger. Right, here we are. Young man called Fraser, quick little fist bump for the channel. How you How doing, doing good? So yeah, this is the new beast. <laughs> This car does have quite a lot of heritage. It was quite a sort of popular car out in Japan, so it'd be nice to give it a bit of a, a new lease of life. But we've done the paperwork. We paid the man some money. Now we're gonna drive back for seven hours. <laughs> Wish me luck. One S14 successfully purchased. Now we've just got to try and make it back. As you guys can see, we've got six hours, 49 minutes. <laughs> Time for a sleep. Gee, you got the comfortable car, man. I gotta drive back in this box. Um, so yeah, we're going to first of all head towards the motorway and find a petrol station because it's only got about a quarter tank and Georgie's Volvo is running out as well. Inside the Dragon's then definitely needs some Takatas, these uh, sad belts have seen better days but do the job nonetheless. Right, let's see if we can actually make it back. So tempted to do a f***ing dug it. <laughs> well, I can't man because the car's not mapped and it's misfiring and doing all sorts of weird at the moment so probably best to not uh, rag it too much. Hello! Dom -doms. Don't worry I'm not putting V-Power in it because that's because we're just going to be driving sensibly, you know John action, uh, and using up all the fuel so I'll make sure when we get it mapped that we start running uh, V-Power in it. Trust the Ovlov has been doing an absolute stunning job today. I love my Ovlov. Um, G's just popped inside the shot, then we're going to go and grab a Costa, then we're going hit to the, hit the road, excuse me. I think we've got roughly about five and a half hours left to go, and we might have to do a little fuel stop. I'm going to probably stop recording here because there's not going to be really be any John action going on, unfortunately. Um, once we get the car back, we've done a few little bits to sort of sort all the issues out, then we'll start doing a bit more John action. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. Hope you enjoyed this new uh, beast on the channel. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.